Yeah. Nice flow. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. Juice, juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Yes, we just heard Blurred Lines. Robin Thicke has now been accused of groping a model during Blurred Lines' video shoot. Emily Radajkowski has accused Robin Thicke of groping her while she was on the set of the Blurred Lines video shoot. Now, she's been gearing up to release her new book called My Body, which is set to drop next month. And an expert from the book, an excerpt rather, of from the book has surfaced where she talks about what happened. She says, suddenly out of nowhere, I felt the coolness and forgiveness, foreignness rather, of a stranger's hand cupping my bare breast from behind. I instinctively moved away, looking back at Robin Thicke. Well, Diane Martin who is the director for the video has spoken out on what she saw and says I remember the moment that he grabbed her breasts uh, one in each hand he was standing behind her as they were both in profile I screamed in my very aggressive Brooklyn voice what the F are you doing that's it the shoot is over um, Emily also said that um, Robin Th- Thicke made her feel uh, humiliated as well as naked for the first time that day um, and then she said she didn't react not really not like what she should have have. And of course, you know, Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines track seems to have been not only the biggest song of his career, but also the song that has caused him the most trouble. Remember, a couple of years ago, he and Pharrell had to pay $7.2 million to the estate of Marvin Gaye for copyright infringement. Um, Donald Trump is filing a lawsuit, an attempt to get his Twitter account back. We knew it was going to happen um, by arguing that his ban violates the First Amendment and a new social media law in Florida. Now, the complaint was filed on Friday night and states that Twitter was coerced by members of the United States Congress. Trump's new filing also claims that Twitter exercises a degree of power and control over political discourse in this country that is immeasurable, historically unprecedented and profoundly dangerous to open democratic debate. That sounds like every single speech that Trump's made, right? Um, Trump, who was indefinitely banned from Twitter on January 8th, lost his privileges following a report reported violation of the company's policy. And, of course, you will remember the risk of further incitement of violence with what happened at the Capitol. Now, uh... Trump had 88 million Twitter followers before he was banned. I guess he just wants all that attention back. Lil Wayne is being sued for $20 million by his former lawyer for skipping out on a deposition. He was supposed to answer some questions about his settlement with Birdman and Cash Money Records, but he opted not to go to the deposition on August 24th and refused to provide available dates for the deposition. Now, Lil Wayne's former lawyer, Ronald Sweeney, is suing Lil Wayne for $20 million, saying that he still him on commissions that were owed. Sweeney also says that he took over as Lil Wayne's manager after Cortez Bryant was fired. And uh, so now what's happened is Lil Wayne has filed a lawsuit against Sweeney saying that he overcharged him for his services over the years and is suing Sweeney for, you guessed it, $20 $20 million. Bill Cosby will be back in court as a trial date has been set for a civil lawsuit related to an alleged sexual assault incident that happened way back in 1974 at the Playboy Mansion. Now, as of now, the trial is set to take place next year, April 18th, 2022. And Bill Cosby is reportedly ready to use his Fifth Amendment right to avoid self-incrimination. Now, the suit was filed by Judy Huth, who claims that she met Bill Cosby back in 1974 after he invited her and her 16-year-old friend to a film set. Uh, He allegedly met with her days later and gave her alcohol before inviting her to a party where she says was at the Playboy Mansion. Now, Bill Cosby's publicist has issued a statement on behalf of Bill Cosby saying that he proclaims his innocence and denies all allegations. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.